Hello, hi there Tauruses, I do hope that you're well. My name is Bella and welcome to my channel and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic and this is your love forecast horoscope for um, 2017 in June and how I work and how I do all of my readings is via my spirit guides. It's them who kind of give me the advice and inspiration and I just passed on basically. So this is your love life for June in a very general way and um, if you'd like to know more about me and my services again the links are below. So um, think about this in, in weeks, so over the next four weeks in June, starting from roughly around the 5th, approximately. So how do my guides want to start this? Um, I've noticed this a lot in nearly every star sign the first week because of the shift that is just before the 9th as we um, as Jupiter goes direct and we've got the full moon in Sagittarius. Just before that time, a lot of star signs I've noticed in the first week are doing a lot of reflecting, a lot of thinking, a lot of looking back on their life, looking back at the past relationships and looking what, at what they want and what they don't want. And I get highly for you guys, what you do not want is conflict, like you're fed up with conflict. So you, some of you may have had arguments quite frequently that seem to never go away that you're going around the same thing or that there is this, some sort of conflict that you're having, you're butting heads with somebody. And this will include those of you who are dating and every time you go dating, you seem to be meeting the same type of people and you're like, oh, it's the same thing. So in that week, you're sort of doing some reflecting about what do I want? Do I want this? Do I want to live next year like this? Do I want to keep butting heads with this person? Because it doesn't feel like it's your fault, but the, you know, the cycle is going. And the thing, the thing is, what you're fearing is that it's going to make you get a bit low, a bit depressed. So you're using that weed to think about what it is you need to do. And my guides are saying here that's good because actually sometimes we need to recognise that something is unhealthy or that a pattern is unhealthy and that we need to take action and not just think that it will disappear. So whether you're single, it's been asked for you to not slip into depression and think that there's something wrong with you. My guides are saying here that what you need to do is do self-love and self-nurturing and actually to, to, to step away from something. So if you're meeting the same type of people, you need to move yourself away. And the same would go that if you're in a connection, if you're arguing, it's almost like you do need to have a break. You do need to almost separate or step, step away. You need to put yourself first because if you allow it to continue, you will get depressed. You will get low and it will end. So you might as well... You know, what have you got to lose, basically? Because if it doesn't stop, it's going to end anyway. So you might as well do the right thing for you and give yourself some self-nurturing, pamper dates, you know, long buffs. Um, it has to be, particularly in the second week, all about you. Don't care about the other person. You know, <laughs> Make it all about you. Do you not worry that you're making it all about you? Because I know some of you will worry that what happens if I don't? Because I don't really want it to end. I just want this situation to stop. Doesn't matter. Don't panic about that. Put it to yourself, because actually it is their job to notice that, that something is not right and that actually that they are heading towards the line of perhaps jeopardising the connection. Something has to stop. And sometimes, particularly if there's been arguments, there can only be an argument if you choose to argue with them. So choose not to argue with them. Choose to step away. Choose to be radio silent. Choose not communicate. Just for them and for some of you you may decide you just don't want it and that would be right for you but the most important message is what you fear is real it is happening it is not your fault it, it could send you downwards so do something about it by nurturing yourself and stepping away or breaking something if you need to because you'll feel so much better in the third week, particularly there by that point, we would have had the shifts astrologically with Jupiter. Things are much more optimistic. Things are feeling better. There's not so much friction. And because you've removed yourself from the situation now, there's not the conflict because you're not entertaining it. If that person wants to communicate with you in a certain way, they're going to have to do it better. And again, that includes if you're single, you know, you're wanting to be with people who pick up the phone, who message you straight away. You're not messing around their job to do not your job to do so in the third week i'm just getting here that that's your, pretty much your attitude and i do get here there are efforts from the very person that was trying to cause a conflict they're trying to get in but what they're trying to do isn't the same method what you're going to do now is you're going to be completely indifferent to it you wouldn't even need me to tell you this because you're just fed up basically 
So then they're trying to make efforts, they want to fix this, trust me, they do want to fix this, but they've got into a bit of a habitual cycle where actually they don't recognise they're doing it because they've been kind of getting away with it and also they've been rewarded by you because you've argued back with them. <sighs> Complicated, yes. <laughs> but anyway, because you're indifferent, you're like, mm -mm. unless you talk my language, which is nice and loving and da-da-da, I'm not going to entertain you. And you're, trust me, they pretty darn quick change because they recognise it's not working. So then you respond. And then you and the other person can build better foundations. And again, if you're single, you just won't. Be, you'll just be ignoring people that just you know, come to you with rubbish, or they're all about you know sex, or they're all about. You just will be ignoring them until the right person comes along, and you'll be like, "Yes, you, you win." And then you can set better foundations. Remember, we're in a number one year about setting good foundations. But in order for us to set good foundations, we can't do that by relying on the other person to always fix things. That sometimes we need to take control, even if it feels like it's going against our better nature or that we're scared to do it, that you must do it in order to still get the results that you want. So in the third week, they fix it quickly and then you get to move on using the optimism of Jupiter and the good luck of Jupiter on your side. Basically, do not be afraid to stand back. Do not be afraid to say no. Do not be afraid to speak your mind because it actually gets you what you want. So much so, and I've noticed this with nearly every star sign, in the fourth week, it's like amazing time week <laughs> for every star sign, almost, apart from Aries. <laughs> but in the last week, it is amazing time week. I just get here that, you know, that is a dissatisfaction of a thing that you thought couldn't change is gone. That, that that kind of magic has happened, that change around has happened, and that actually you start to recognise that we can create illusions in our relationship. We can kind of convince ourselves that things are going right when they're not. And actually the, you then recognise that it wasn't you did something about it. I feel here that you and the other person are generous with your time back and forth. The balance is basically back. And it's good time. You feel you feel like the balance is there and that neither one of you has controlled it in a very negative way. And basically it feels like you've both learned to communicate better and to speak the same language instead of speaking different kind of language with each other. And again, if you're single, you've chose somebody who does speak your language and wants what you want. So I do hope, Tauruses, that that's been informative for you. Again, if you'd like to know more about me and my services, just link, look at the links below. I'm happy to help you. You all have an amazing day. Take care.